<laughs> so Schrodinger's cat is uh, one of the uh, one of these iconic thought experiments on how weird quantum mechanics is. So in quantum mechanics, the uh, some of the strangeness about it is because it's dealing with probabilities. So if you have a radioactive source, there's some probability that the radioactive source decays, some probability that it doesn't. Uh, and until you actually make a measurement, according to quantum mechanics, the system is in some strange mixture of those two states. It hasn't kind of made up its mind. And until you make a measurement, it hasn't made up its mind. And so, if you scale that up to the idea of a cat in a box with a radioactive source, if the radioactive source decays, uh, you could set up this experiment whereby that was detected by a Geiger counter. And the Geiger counter, if it detects that, will trigger and uh, hit a hammer, which will hit a vial of poisonous gas and the cat will die. But if the source does not decay, the Geiger counter will not trigger, the hammer will not fall and the poisonous vial of gas will stay intact and the cat will be alive. So in quantum mechanics, there's this system hasn't made up its mind between uh, the particle decaying and not decaying. But if the particle does decay, the cat is dead. And if the particle doesn't, the cat is alive. So is the cat in some superposition state of alive and dead? And what constitutes then making a measurement? Is it the scientist coming in from outside, opening the box and looking to see if the cat was alive or dead? In which case, it's this interaction of a conscious observer which is extremely strange, that makes the cat alive or dead. That's, uh, as far as physicists and definitely Schrodinger were concerned, that was just a bit strange. So a lot of the strange kind of science fiction tropes that came out of Schrodinger's cat, all about whether you needed a conscious observer, um, kind of come from this fundamental, uh, kind of, does consciousness make a difference or is it just a measurement? Uh, as a physicist, I'd just go for a measurement. <laughs>